We also have a Fantech makeup air system for the range. So whenever they turn that range on, opens a damper and it starts to bring in air, introducing it to the house and it reheats the yep. air in the winter time. That yep. was a very expensive part. But I mean, that's the only way that you could run a 1200 CFM exhaust fan in your kitchen and not create all kinds of other problems. Yeah. That was kind of non-negotiable. It was like an $8,000 addition to that, that project. Yeah. That in itself brings up a whole nother conversation about like the complete lack of need for 1200 CFM of range hood capacity in anybody's house. Like, I don't care how much cooking you're doing. That is just way too much. And you see it all the time in these custom homes. They love to put in these giant range hoods and they depressurize the house, like almost like a whole house fan would do in the old school days. And if you've got atmospherically vented gas appliances or a gas water heater, old school gas furnace or something like that, you are going to blow out that pilot light. You're going to backdraft the water heater. You're going to bring flue gas into your house. I had a call from a, a builder this summer that was dealing with that. The chimney, the fireplace, basically, it'll just pull air down the chimney every time they run the range hood. 